Hi guys, Absolute Dawnless here, coming at you with another One Piece Locals game. So, we are playing against Magellan today with my Kanemon, and I thought this would be a good game to showcase for the channel, because obviously not a lot of people play Magellan, so I thought it'd be good for you guys to, you know, get to see Magellan, see what it's capable of, and I thought it'd just be a kind of interesting deck, because not a lot of people play Magellan, because, well, Kaido is just kind of better with the ability to just go ahead and have a Nigashima, go ahead and have a lot of different cards that just really really strong and you've even got access to the 10 drop kaido so it looks like we're going first where we play a joy body and pass and the magellan player's turn he's got two don so what's the magellan player going to do he's going to play his blocker and he's going to pass we're going to go ahead and get don and we're going to go ahead and use the bonnie to go ahead and grab a killer so killer's going to go ahead and, and we add it to hand we're then going to use momo to go ahead and add something we add an odin a bit soon for that maybe we didn't have anything else that was that great and we're going to go ahead and swing with our kanemon okay Okay, he takes the life, he draws for turn, grabs two more Don. Okay, what's he going to do though? He's got four Don and a blocker with his Magellan. Kind of curious to see where this is going to go. So he pays four to play an Uta, and he goes ahead and swings into the Bonnie and also the Momo. Okay, interesting choices to use his blocker to swing into the Momo. Let's see, we're on five Don now. What's our play? So... I think we could go ahead and just note we're going to pay to Don, play, yeah, we go ahead and decrease it with the Kanemon to go ahead and play an Izo, which rests the Uta. And then we could possibly put the free Don onto the Kanemon, and we do just do that to go ahead and swing into the Uta. To go ahead and just get rid of the Uta full stop, we don't want that on the board, because obviously it can stop other characters from attacking, which is not what we want to have. So he's just asking a question, if I remember correctly, about Uta, because he's a bit new to the game. But he chose to play Magellan, which is... I'm just curious to see where this is going to go with his Magellan deck, to be honest. So he's got six Don now. We've got the Kanem on. He plays another blocker. He plays a Hannibal, looking at the top five to grab a card. Goes ahead and grabs something. And it was a Hell's Judgment. I believe that's what that's called. It's the one that can go ahead and decrease two characters by 3k power. Which is honestly a really decent card. Just being able to decrease something by 3k power. So after that, he went ahead and swinged with his Magellan for six, and we did take a life. We're just going to go ahead and straight swing with our Kanemon, trying to probably force the Hell's Judgment, which he does go ahead and use, decreasing the Ezo, making the attack failed, and we go ahead and play an Odin and pass. Okay, he's gone ahead and gone on to eight Don now, and he's still got the two blockers, which is a bit annoying, but we've got our Odin on the board now, so we can just continuously swing. But he is on four life, which is kind of an issue for us. So it's going to be interesting to see how we get through this board. Okay, so he's paying the free Don to go ahead and play Sasaki, I think it is. And he goes ahead and swings for seven into Arcanemon, and he passes with the two Don up. Maybe bluffing that he has another Hell's Judgment, seeing as we don't actually know. He goes ahead, we go ahead and swing with Arcanemon. He pays two Don to play another Hell's Judgment. Okay, decreasing our Odin and our Kanemon. Interesting choice. We go ahead and put two on Izo. Trying to swing into him, get rid of some of that life. He goes ahead and counters it. We swing with Odin for five. He does take it. We restand the Odin and swing again. Okay. He's just reading it, making sure he knows what it does. Okay. So he goes ahead and puts it back. He goes ahead and blocks the Odin second swing. We go ahead and play two blockers. We put, go ahead and play a Toki and a killer with a killer having a Don on it. So we can go ahead and draw a card. Okay. Interesting. Where's this going to go though? Okay, so he gets two Don. So he's on eight now because he's been negging Don as well because of the Hell's Judgment. Okay, so he goes ahead and plays a Queen, negging another Don to draw two and discard one. So he's got another blocker. Like, those blockers are really good. He's had blockers almost the entire game. But you know what? He hasn't drawn Magellan, the character, to neg our own Don, which is a bit of a problem for him. Okay, so he might be choosing to swing with the Sasuke right now, maybe to get another Don. That might just be what he's thinking of doing. So he goes ahead and swings, well, puts a Don onto the Sasuke. Okay, he swings into the Izo and gets a Don, discards a card for it. Okay, goes ahead and swings with a 6k, which we block and draw a card with, and he goes ahead and passes after that. He's, it looks like he's baiting another Hell's Judgment again. How many Hell's Judgment might he have? So we go ahead and swing into his Sasaki, letting that die. Okay, 
Lots of cards in our hand. We go ahead and swing with Odin. He goes ahead and takes the life. We rest, restand, and swing again with Odin. Still having seven Don left. We haven't actually used anything. Oh, sorry, no, six Don because there's one under the uh, Kinemon. We play a Momo looking at the top five, being two Don. Adds the Yamato. Pay three to play the Ryzo and play a blocker. So he's now on ten Don. If he drops the uh, ten drop Kaido here, we would literally just get smacked. Like, we lose the Odin and everything. We do get to play a character from the deck, a free cost or less, because if the Odin dies, we get to do that. But it would not be a good game for us if that happened. So he goes ahead and swings into the Momo with his Hannibal. Okay. He's just making sure that's a blocker from the looks of it. Okay, so what's he going to do? Like, he's still got a decent amount of cards in hand. So he does have plays, but he, and he's got access to 10 Don. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. So it looks like he's just reading card his hand, making sure he knows what it does. Pays six to play. Oh, he plays King, killing the Toki. Okay, I would have probably killed the um, Beijay because the Toki and the Beijay are essentially the same. Just one has 1k less power, which is the Toki. I'll probably kill the Beige. He he's just a bit better in my opinion. Okay. So four Don left puts one, no, yeah, one onto the Magellan, which he swings for seven. Okay, we draw. Lots of Don on our disposal. So we go ahead and pay four to play our Yamato to rest the queen. Puts one onto the Odin, swinging into the queen. I think that's what happened, yeah. And we're gonna probably pay three. No, we're gonna tap the Rizo to go ahead and draw one because the Odin's tapped as well. Into the Hannibal. And I believe we've already drawn the one. Okay. So we swing into the Magellan. Alright. Where's this going though? Like, he's on two life with free dot up. He could easily have counters. So he does 2k counter. We restand, we swing again for nine. Alright. Currently the game's in our favor quite a bit. We've got a 6k power, we've got a 4k power, we've got yeah, Odin that can swing twice, and we have a blocker. So he chooses to take that. His turn comes, he draws, gets his Don back. Interesting to see where this is going. Like again, if he gets the 10 drop, he could just kill us easy. So he plays another Hannibal. Looks at the top five. What could he potentially get here? He goes ahead and adds, I think that was a Sadie. Okay, so he's going to rest free, play a Sadie, which plays... Oh, okay, so he plays the Minotaur. I think it would have been better if he played the blocker one, but I don't know if he has that in his deck. Because the block, because that one is good, because it's double attack swing. But right now, I think he needs blockers. Right now, he definitely needs to protect himself. Like, I've got at least, what, four swings with just characters alone, because of the Odin? Like, we're in a very good position, so maybe he's just thinking right now, thinking where he wants to go. Okay. Like, he could just swing with the king into the Odin. Like, maybe maybe if he just invests, like, three Don, or even one Don onto the king to swing into the Odin, force my cards. Okay. So he goes ahead and puts that on there. We go ahead and 2k counter. He invests three into the king, swings into probably the Odin, but we block it. We're back on 10 Don. We drop a turn. Like, he's got no blockers. I can just invest seven Don onto Odin. Okay, so it looks like we choose to invest five, six Don, sorry, onto Odin, swinging into the Magellan. And he's going to probably try to counter it. No, he takes the life, we restand, and we swing again. Like, even if he counters this, we still have, like, four swings. So, yeah, that was the game, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Like, that was interesting to see what a Magellan player was trying to do. Kind of unfortunate that he didn't draw any of his own Magellans, obviously, because those killing those does make us lose Don, and also just being able to neg our Don on play, it's really strong. But we'll have to see what we can do in the future against this deck and see if we can get a better game against it, because... Honestly, it did. It, it was a good showing. He had tons of blockers. He had the advantage. Just we were able to build up our board slowly and just continuously attack for things. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy, guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.